Welcome to the RMS Art Department. My name is Miss Pickalingus, and today I'm going to be going over how to use the clay caddy. Now, caddies are designed for paraprofessionals and students who work with paraprofessionals. But it's going to change on how you use the caddy based on your students' individual needs. The first thing that you will find in the art caddy is going to be the lesson plan. And here you are going to have the learning objectives for the lesson, the sequence of events that the students will be participating in, and then a reflection piece at the end that can be a type of form of assessment. You will also have in the art caddy essential questions that will work together with the lesson that you and your student can use to reflect. So in this caddy, <clears throat> we have, um, we are going to be working with clay. So you will see that there's actually going to be a little bin in the caddy and that has the clay icons in it. Now if you take these out, you can see that these are different icons that will help guide you and your student through the process of working with clay. So for example, you may put out the icons of getting the clay materials first, then you may go through the steps of doing the wedging process and sculpting, and then you also are going to want to choose a different technique that you and your student can work together on. And you can either assist your student or you can do the technique alongside of your student and model the steps with them. So the student can choose the technique or you as the paraprofessional can choose one. So what we're going to do is lay out all of the icons for the student and then in the art caddy you will find all the supplies that you need. Everything from the clay mat to the clay to the texture pieces and different clay tools. This is all going to be in the art caddy so that you can get started right away and you can give the instructions to your student and you don't have to wait for Miss Pickalingus or the class. When it comes to cleaning up, you will also find that there are cleaning up icons and there's even an icon for Miss Pick and this can be to do a checkout with Ms. Pick, or if at any point in the process you want the student to have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one instruction from the teacher, you can add that into the icon list. After the student has finished cleaning up and the art supplies are back in the caddy, you will see that there is also a variety of different writing tools, and you can use whichever one you feel Will best fit your students need. There is an artist student for the or an artist statement for the student to use to reflect upon where they would put their name using whatever writing material they would like and then they could either highlight, they could circle the different mediums that they worked with today, they could go over and they could circle or highlight or even just put a line through um, what sort of art elements they looked at, and then lastly, this is just how they feel when reflecting about their art. And they could use their communication device with this, or they could simply point, and you could go ahead and you could even use the highlighter to indicate what their feelings were. When they are all done with the art caddy bat bucket, you just leave everything right on the table, and Miss Pickalingus will clean it up. Thank you very much. I hope that this has been helpful and I appreciate everything you do.